Hey everybody, it's Molly here. So I've officially run out of video ideas. I'm joking, but today I'm going to show you guys how I dye my eyebrows. Um, a couple people have asked me, so I figured I would just do it. Um, I was going to use my microphone for this, but my neighbors were being really loud for a while, so I was just like, fuck it, we're just going to old school ASMR this shit. Also, when I went to sit down in my chair, I sat on my toes, and, like, it really hurt. I don't know. So, let's just get right into it, um, because, I don't know, I just think it'll be, I don't know, let's just get right into it. So, this is the stuff that I use. I got this off Amazon, and it is called A Thousand Hour Lash and Brow Dye. So I get the shade dark brown for my eyebrows and then um, basically what this is, it's just what it is, says it is, it's a lash and brow dye. So you can do, and it's supposed to last for a thousand hours, so six weeks basically. Um, and it comes with everything you need in this box. I got it off Amazon, no idea how much it was. So I used the dark brown for my eyebrows and then I used the blue black for my eyelashes. Um, I only really do my eyelashes like in the summertime if, or when I, when I go to the beach on vacation. Um, if you don't know, my eyebrows and my eyelashes are white, like so blonde. I look like I'm dying of, of venereal disease whenever I do have makeup on. Um, you can go back and look at some of my videos and see. But, um, so this stuff works really well. The only thing that concerns me, it does it does say poison on both of these, so do with that what you will. The eyelash one um, kind of makes my eyes sting a little bit, but we kind of ignore that. Um, so yeah, it, honestly, this stuff it really helps like with my self confidence. I don't know, it it's like weird, but if you've if you have light eyebrows and you look so different without makeup, you know. So this just kind of helps that a little bit. So, <laughs> my shit is super dirty. Like, it's just so gross because the dye gets everywhere. So, I would, I'll show you. <laughs> it's like so dirty. <laughs> just bear with me. Okay. So, um, we're going to set this to the side. And the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to wipe off my makeup that is on my eyebrows. Um, so we're going to humble, humble ourselves real quick. So I'm just going to wipe around this area. I was going to take off all my makeup, but then I was like, why be ugly when we don't have to be ugly? You know what I mean? So I'm just taking off any makeup that's around my eyebrows. Hi. <laughs> really think this through with the whole mirror aspect of it, so we're just gonna leave that the way it is. Okay, so eyebrows are cleaned off for the most part. So we're gonna get that shit off of there. I wanna make sure we have no makeup on there or around. So with... Okay, so this is what comes in the kit. So we have the little plastic covering, and then we have a little stirrer to stir up our product. We have a spoolie and I use this kind of to apply the color and I'll also use this to like put it on. It's whatever you want to do. And then we have the actual um, dye itself. This is what it looks like in the shade dark brown. Um, and I should have grabbed a paper towel or napkin of sorts but you know, we don't really think things through here in the house of a dumb bitch. But anyway, so here, this is like the little thing of dye. And it says it's supposed to last up to like 12 uses. I've done this like four or five times, I think. And then we have the 1000 hour lash and brow dye developer liquid. And then we just have these little like um, things that you can like put. This is more for the eyelash ones. You like put these under your eyes so you don't get the dye everywhere. 
I don't use them for my eyebrows, but so basically the instructions are pretty self-explanatory. Um, it says to like do like a little test strip, obviously to make sure you're not allergic to anything or nothing's irritating to you. Um, but basically it says, okay. Make sure your lashes and your brows are completely clean by removing natural oils as well as makeup with a non-oily cleanser. So, um, we're going to do our brows. So, it tells us to apply a Vaseline with a cotton bud on the skin around the brow to protect it from coming in contact with the dye, of course. Squeeze into the mixing cup um, an inch of color cream. Add 10 drops of the developer liquid and mix together using the white wand provided. Um, let's see. And then it says for coloring brows and other hair, um, leave the mixture on for about six minutes and removing it only using only dampened cotton wool. Um, and it just says avoid getting the mixture into the eyes. And then if it happens, flush with cold water. Um, and then it gives you instructions if you have to apply it to somebody else, how to do the lashes. I'll read that over while it's like, while it's sitting, but it's super easy. Um, yeah, I'll read through the pamphlet more while we're waiting for that. So, the first thing that we're going to do is I have my Vaseline. This is just Walmart brand petroleum jelly. Obviously, this stuff is super, super cheap. I'm sure we all have it. So, it's literally all, the only other thing that you need um, is the petroleum jelly. So, this is important because we do not want the dye to be getting all over our skin of course why would we want that so I just like glob this all around my area and just make sure that everything is covered up try not to get it on the actual brow because that kind of defeats the purpose but we're just gonna place it around the area make sure that it's all covered I mean, even probably those of you who dye your hair do this, I'm assuming. You put it around, like, your forehead and stuff. I don't know. I don't dye my hair. So, and we want to make sure we get, like, the center, too. Okay. So, I just want to make sure that we're all covered up. And so, these are my brows, naturally. Um, they're a little darker than they normally would be, but honestly, not really that much darker. Okay, like, the little spot of makeup, like, in between my eyes. That's what's in there. Okay, so we are looped up, ready to go. So, um, we're going to close up our petroleum jelly. Alright, so, when you squeeze out the stuff from the tube, the first little puffer is, like, always really gross. I don't know why I'm looped up with this shit, but... Um, so we're going to get out that first layer. We'll just put it on this cotton brown. So the first layer is going to have like a chunk of like dark brown, but we want the light brown stuff. So, and I just mix it in the plastic container that it came in. Um, so I squirt out about, I don't know, like that much. I don't really fucking know. I ain't no scientist. And honestly, it says to do 10 drops of the developer liquid, but it makes it like way too liquidy. So we're just going to put, we're going to start off with like four. I did like three and then I mix it. You can see that, but we mix it in here. And I know this is like kind of gross looking, but that's like kind of what it looks like. And you want it to be like a thick consistency, but you don't want any like chunks in there. And if there are chunks, you should probably add more of the developer liquid. Which is, I think is what I'm going to do. So you're just like chunking a little bit, but not too much. Huh? Come up with one more drop. We're going up now. Or six. You know, whatever, whatever we feel like doing. Let's, okay, so we just kind of mix that up. Right, and then it is like kind of chunky, but it's fine. We're fine. 
Okay, so then what we do is we literally put the shit on our eyebrows. Oh my god, did I just drop that? I thought I dropped a chunk. So I just follow the natural hairs of my brows and just put this shit on. I like to focus it in the middle first and then, cause like I don't want it too dark on the edges. Cause like when you fill in your eyebrows, you kind of have the, the front part light, you know, and then the, the other part dark. So y'all know the truth. You know the fucking vibes. So we just like clump this on our eyebrows like this. Perfect. Amazing work. Now, I'm sure there are other ways to do this. I watched a girl do this on YouTube, actually. She, um, she was like a, I don't know what her channel was. It was like, she was like living in her RV or something in like a van. I love watching those videos of people like live in their vans. And she lived in her van and but she did a video with this stuff. And I was like, oh my god, like I never thought about dyeing my eyebrows before. You know what I mean? That's such a good idea. So I bought this stuff on Amazon and I did it and I honestly like felt so good. Okay, so I'm at eleven minutes, so six minutes from now would be who fucking knows? Seventeen minutes? Sure. I have to time it because you don't want to leave it on for too long. Um, but anyway, I was like, I never thought about dyeing my eyebrows. And it's been something that I've been self-conscious about for a very long time. Like, you know, to be seen without makeup, like to be seen without my eyebrows or my eyelashes or whatever. And I like still struggle with that stuff. But this kind of, and it also like takes away a step in the morning. Like when they're freshly dyed, they're good for like a month. I don't have to fill them in or anything like and I know when it's time to fill them in, um, or time to dye them is when I really have to start, like, filling them in again, you know? But, okay, so we just kind of set this on there. And then sometimes I'll brush it out with the spoolie a little bit. Get it more even. Distribution, kind of. I don't know. I just make stuff up, but... But yeah, we just try to get that as much on there as we can. And obviously the Vaseline is going to protect from, the Vaseline is going to protect it from the, from the dye getting onto the skin. Okay, so we let that sit for six minutes. But anyway, so it was like a really big insecurity of mine for a long time. And I just like, I was like, you know, I should dye my eyebrows. So I'm not going to pay somebody to dye my eyebrows. I was like, no, a bitch can do this by herself. And then I did. I'm very proud of myself. So I'm like not, oh my god, I was gonna say not like tech savvy, I'm not like, I don't know, like I don't dye my own hair, I don't, obviously, um, I don't really do any of that stuff, so I didn't really know what I was getting into, but this stuff had like kind of good reviews on Amazon, so I was like, why not try it out, you know? Alright, so we're gonna wipe off all the stuff that we use, and we're just gonna put it back in the little holder. I mean, you don't have to keep it in the plastic, but I like to. And I just clean out the the rest of the, the dye that was in there. Just be careful with this stuff because it can get fucking everywhere. And, like, it looks so nasty. It really does. But it's the price we pay for looking this good. <laughs> um, and when you first wipe this stuff off, it, like... Oh, my God, this shit's getting everywhere. When you first wipe it off, it doesn't really look like, I mean, it looks like stuff is dyed, but, like, not really. Like, you're like, oh, it could be darker, but then it, like, sets overnight, kind of. You wake up in the morning, you're like, holy shit, my eyebrows are black. Um, and it's basically the same thing for doing your eyelashes. You just, um, put it on with this, obviously, you put it on with the spoolie, and, um, I can read it for you. You leave it on for 10 minutes. Apply to the lashes using the white wand or the mascara style wand as if you were applying normal mascara and leave on for 10 minutes. And then when you want to take this off and the, um, and the eyebrow stuff off, 
Using a slightly dampened cotton bud, remove most of the mixture with gentle strokes away from the eye. Close your eyes and now use slightly dampened cotton wool to remove the remainder. Slight stinging may occur, which is a normal reaction. If it persists for more than one minute, flush with an eye bath with cold tap water. And they show the picture down there of the girl with the little eye things on. You just put like Vaseline on it and then it like adheres to your eyes. Um... It says, it is a well-known fact that certain individuals for undetermined reasons may be allergic or hypersensitive to foods, drugs, cosmetics, or any other substances or materials that are harmless to most people. The relatively few people who are subject to such reactions are said to be allergic or hypersensitive. Perform a skin sensitivity test 48 hours before every application. To ascertain whether you are hypersensitive or allergic to this product, you must make the skin sensitivity test 48 hours before application. Prepare the test mixture by mixing a small quantity as directed. Apply a few drops of the mixture to a previously washed area the, small, the size of a small coin on the inner fold of the elbow. Allow the test area to dry and leave uncovered and undisturbed for 48 hours. During or immediately after the 48 hour period, if any burning, swelling, redness, or irritation shows in or around the area, then it must be assumed that you are allergic to the product and must not use it. This product must not be applied to the lashes or hair if the skin nearby shows any evidence of abrasion or soreness. I didn't do a 48-hour skin test, but um, I did my eyebrows first, and when that was okay, I was like, okay. And then I just did the eyelashes, too. Um, it's honestly, like, for me, it's a big difference just because my eyelashes are so, so, so pale. But if you have, like, brown lashes probably don't need it and even I would honestly also recommend just using the dark brown um I like the blue black they do have a black but the girl that whose original video that I watched and then I watched like Amazon reviews um she's they everyone really recommends using the blue black just because it's like way less harsh and it's like easier to get off and sometimes I'll have like little dots like staining under there because I'm an idiot but other than that it's worked out like really well for me and it lasts a long time and you know I wear makeup every single day and I wipe my face and wash it like every other day um so it's honestly it's super user friendly it's not this video is not sponsored I wish it was but um super user friendly we're just yeah um I think it's been around like six minutes I'm gonna let it go and stay on there for a little bit longer I know this video is probably like super fucking boring um but I just, I don't know, I like when mundane tasks are like put into ASMR videos, kind of. I don't know, I just think it's cool. It makes me relax. Where are my oranges? Okay, so I have this dampened ground, so I'm just going to wipe off the mixture off my eyebrow. And as you can see, that shit, that shit hit different. I'm wiping around the whole area and all that dye only a little bit comes off but um it doesn't look like anything like super crazy right now but honestly in <laughs> in a couple minutes um no a couple like out no actually i don't know sometimes it shows up like really quickly but yeah so they're dyed they're definitely darker than obviously when i started um but they will get like a lot darker in about like a couple hours so obviously the dye just like has to set and everything and you're like hmm, why did I do that and then like you look in the mirror but you just want to make sure that it's all like um blended in there too I'm just gonna you know take a take a spool and brush them out and obviously they are darker and they like match my hair color really well so if you have like a similar hair color to mine or even if they're dark brown um there's like Vaseline all over my eye but yeah that's what they look like and it, they get darker over time um obviously why do I keep rambling I don't know but yeah that's how I dye my eyebrows super easy super effective cheap um they last a while lazy I'm so fucking lazy this like really really helps so yeah, thank you guys for watching this video. Please leave any requests you have down below because obviously I'm running out of ideas. Um, but yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon.